I think the most common misconceptions about laser atherectomy is it's hard to use, it's voodoo, it's only used in complex PCI centers. That's anything but the case. The learning curve is quite quick. It's incredibly safe if you use it in a rational way. You know, I think years past, probably before um, I was even an interventionalist, laser got a bad name because physicians were typically using large fibers and small arteries and laser on contrast, which actually amplifies tremendously the amount of energy. And if you laser on contrast in a native artery, the risk of perforation does go up in that case. And so uh, fast forward 20 years later, we know how to use it in, in a safe manner. And we laser on sanely and routinely because the level of energy is more measured. And it's very safe when used that way. And so I think the safety profile has been fine-tuned in a way where with regular, judicious, and rational use with good practice, it's a very safe and easy device to use. Um, people, I think, overcomplicate it too. It's a very simple device to use. You know, there, there's a couple fibers, there's multiple settings, but after you've done a few cases and gotten a little bit of coaching in terms of the best practices nationally that are being used, it's relatively straightforward. We have recommended settings and fiber sizes for native, similarly for ISR, and in the learning curve is incredibly quick to get uh, up to speed on. And so uh, the complexity is not there and the safety certainly is. And those are the two main con uh, misconceptions that we talk about when we teach people who are new users. And they, they climb the learning curve very quickly and are on their way to be independent in no time.